Most clouds aren't uniform in shape, so it's kind of up to you on how you want your cloud to look. I wanted mine to be kind of like an oval shaped cloud, so I made one side larger than the other, but you can make your cloud look however you want to. We're going to use this master cutout for all our cuts moving forward. So now we're going to cut out four copies. After you cut out your fourth piece, you're going to flip your thin design and get this nice oval shape like you see above. You're going to cut out two of these. After you finish cutting, you want to mark the center of your cutouts. I also like to draw arrows to exactly the parts that I'm cutting just to make sure I don't mess anything up.
Also, it's super critical that you spin your cloud. You don't want it to be off balance. Now we're going to reinforce the fin structures. The hot glue does a good job of keeping the cardboard stuck together, but it doesn't offer a lot of strength when pushing the fin side to side. And since we're gonna have a decent amount of force on this cloud when we create the fiberglass mold, I like to duct tape the fins to one another. And what we did here was basically create like cross sections to kind of strengthen the cloud or reinforce it. I kind of went overboard here. You don't have to take it this far, but I covered the entire cloud with duct tape. And then after I did that, I covered it with masking tape. Now we're gonna wrap the cloud in aluminum foil. You want to wrap the cloud in aluminum foil and what this is going to do is prevent the fiberglass from sticking to the cloud in the next step. Now you wanna lay your fiberglass cloth over the cloud structure. After you pour your resin, add your hardener and stir it. When applying the fiberglass resin to the cloud, I recommend only doing one side at a time. And this is because if you try flipping the cloud over to do the bottom side, the fiberglass doesn't really stick to the aluminum foil, so it'll kind of peel off. So you want to do the top half, let gravity kind of pull the fiberglass cloth and resin down on the cloud. And after that hardens, it won't move, so you can flip it over and do the other side. After you trim all the resin and fiberglass that's not up against the body of the cloud, you can fiberglass the rest of it. Now, once the fiberglass hardens, it's gonna be very, very hard, so it's gonna be like a plastic material. You'll need a Dremel to cut off the rough edges before fiberglassing the bottom side of the cloud. That's it for part two of the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'll have part three uploaded next week.